Hey guys, we are here with LF, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's information, as well as everything else coming in this week's update for Legends. So, um, the general character list is here, um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is, what is this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9th, in terms of the overall power level here, which is not bad. Um, he's, you know, behind all these other Legends Limited units. Um, I'm interested in seeing how he's going to do. Let's go ahead and actually pull him up here. And he is a melee type, so we will pull up another melee type that's just come out recently, which is Rosé. Let's put him maxed out so we can just compare stats real quick. Okay, so here we have, uh, also this new EX as well, maybe we should pull him up as well. Sorry, I didn't have time to do this before I started recording here. There's actually um, an EX Goku Black, because <laughs> yeah, we needed more Goku Blacks. We needed more future units. That's exactly what we needed here. All right, whatever, I'll just put him up, up there as well. Okay, so... Super Saiyan 4 Goku is Sun Family Saiyan GT, Super Saiyan 4, yeah, makes sense, Shadow Dragon Saga, and he's a melee type. Stats, 253 Strike, 245 Blast, 252 Strike, 245 Blast, so in terms of offense, he's actually slightly ahead in terms of a strike attack, that's it. Almost the same identical stats as Rosé. Strike defense, 158, 159. 158, 158, so slowly the same, <laughs> the exact same stat spread, 252 health, 247. So health a little bit lower, but in terms of the ones that matter, this is like pretty much identical to uh, Goku Black. Okay. Um, actually, not that long uh, of uniques here. I mean, eh, Goku Black's kind of similar too, I guess. All right, so the main ability is I'll finish it. Draw the ultimate arts card, Dragon Fist of Rage next. He shows health by 30% and key by 40, and gets 30% damage inflicted for 15 counts. 30% health is a lot. What does Black do? Just gonna directly compare them to Goku Black because they're pretty much like the same in terms of their stats. 30% and 50 key, 30% and 40 key, so Goku Black's better in terms of that. 30% damage for 15 counts, and then yeah, Goku Black doesn't get damage on his main ability. So I think I would actually give the advantage to this Goku here. I mean, Goku Black does get the ignore cover cut for 30 counts, which actually is pretty big, and then he cancels this. I think I would rather have the damage um, instead of this stuff here. So I would take this, um, chalk this up as a W for the Goku. Um, unique ability number one is a good, a good clean fight. He gets 70% to damage inflicted when battle starts. Cannot be cancelled. That's a good number. I think Goku Black gets 60. Yep. Um, then he also gets 30 key. Oh, the following effects occur time when faced with an enemy. Yeah, here we go. This is um, actually going to pull up the purple Super Saiyan 4 Goku because it's very similar to what he does too. This guy gets... Um, mm, 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 you know, restores key by 30 whenever he's faced with an enemy. So, I mean, similar thing, thing that they did with this Goku, right? So he gets 3 key, which is similar, and 15% of damage inflicted by allies for 15 counts. Wow, okay. So he's kind of supporting as well. Um, if this guy switched in... Actually, you know what? This actually counts towards his initial damage too, because when he switches in, he's faced with the enemy immediately. Yeah, this is powerful, because he's getting 30 key on switch in, and he's getting 15% extra damage to him and the team. So when he switches in, he's really getting 85% damage inflicted and 30 key. And then the other two battle members are getting 15% damage. Applies the following effects to self every time an enemy uses a strike, blast, or special move arts attack. Or arts, usually they say card, arts attack, while this character is on the battlefield or on standby. So it also counts when he's not even switched in. 5% of damage inflicted up to 50% cannot be cancelled, and then he reduces damage by 20% up to 60. Oh, it's only for 5 counts. Um, up to 60%. Okay. Let's think about that. So 5% damage inflicted. So that means that he's going to have to be... Well, not even hit, because it, it only says use. It doesn't say hit. So every time an enemy uses one of these, he's getting 5% damage inflicted. So obviously you need him to use 10 of a, any, any combination of Strike Blast or Special Move to get this full effect here. So, I mean, he's going to have... 70 plus 50, 120, plus the 15, so it's 135. Um, okay, and then damage reduction is pretty good as well. This kind of reminds me of the purple Super Saiyan God Goku who did the same thing, that little thing down here. Second ability is Billowing Wrath. Look how short this is. Receives zero damage when changing cover the first time. Activates during assist. Yeah, this is the cover rescue ability that LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku has as well. Applies the following effects to self per defeated battle member when this character enters the battlefield. Restore self by 10%, 20% of damage inflicted, and then 20% to ultimate damage inflicted. That cannot be cancelled. So let's just quickly compare him directly to Rosé. 10% um, damage inflicted per defeated battle member. 
So he's getting really like 60 plus, like I guess on average 10%. So he's getting like 70% damage inflicted. He's doing some annoying stuff. I'm going to tell you guys right now, this guy looks way, way better to me than Rosé does. Um, okay. Regular strike, regular blast. I mean, Rosé does have this massive, like, bleed, or extreme bleed, right? So, um, special move is the light speed. <laughs> Ten times coming, I like that name. So this is a charging forward attack, it's not a projectile. It does massive impact damage, applies the falling effects to self upon activation. 30% special move damage inflicted for three counts, and then cancels attribute downgrades and normal conditions and blast armor. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's gonna do a lot of damage, right? Massive plus the extra damage he gets on the activation is really nice. The green card is Wild Dragon Launcher, which is yet another lunging forward attack. It's also blast armor. The following effects occur upon activation. 20% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Inflicts enemy that should be downgraded plus five to sub count for 10 counts. And inflicts forced switching. I'm not a huge fan of this card. Um, I think this reminds me a little bit of the purple Broly. I wish I could find him somewhere. This mess here. This is so many characters at this point. Purple Broly has a green card that's actually very similar to that. Um, let's just see. So Purple Broly gets 20% blast damage, force switching, reduces key, and damage received. I mean, yeah, it's kind of similar to that Broly. So, I mean, uh, how often do you really use that Broly's green card? Not, not, not that often. Whoa, that's a lot of attacks for an ultimate. Ultimate skill is Dragon Fist of Rage. It deals massive impact damage. Unfortunately, why do they... Okay, how do they decide like who gets supreme and who doesn't? I don't know. Massive impact damage applies the following effects to self upon activation. It nullifies enemies, restores ultimate... Okay, so it nullifies endurance. Also applies the following effects to self according to the number of remaining battle members. So if it's everybody alive, he gets 30% to ultimate damage. Two battle members alive, he gets 50% ultimate damage. And... Minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cut. And then one battle member, so he's the last man, last man standing, gets 70%. And then minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cut effects. Rosé, what does he do? So his is depending on the enemy's battle member count. He can get up to 90%. I mean, the thing with Rosé is he already gets the ignore sustained damage cut from his main ability. So he doesn't need that on here. Um... I think I like. Do I like? I mean, it's it's, it's situational, right? Because this is assuming you are, you know, you're in a bad spot, <laughs> which is funny because on a GT team, it's probably not that hard to get to the spot where you're last man standing. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, th I think I actually like Goku Blacks a little better, but it's close. Um, and then he holds these the strike and blast card. It gets 10% of damage inflicted for 10 counts, and then same thing for blast, which is really good. So he buffs GT strike attack and defense. Oh, I forgot to say he's yellow. He actually is yellow, which is a color that I didn't expect him to be. I thought he would either be green or red. Yellow is fine. Again, if we're specifically talking about GT, literally any color is fine, right? I mean, the best yellow on this team <laughs> was Sin Shenron, so it's, it's fine that he's that he's yellow. Um, it would have been nice if it was green, though, because I think then you could run red, red, green with Omega and Super 17, but it's, it's, it's fine. Um, so he buffs GT Strike Attack and Defense, a two-star, three-star he buffs Sun Family, oh boy, Strike Attack and Defense. Then he buffs at six-star, 32% of GT Sun Family Strike Attack and Defense, and 15% of characters that are both GT and Saiyan Strike Attack. Yep, they're setting him up for Gogeta. Yeah, this is 100% set up, because... Um, guess guess who's a Saiyan that's on GT? Super Saiyan 4 Kojita. Um, so yeah. I think he looks really good. He doesn't look like... I think if I'm going to compare him directly to like Gogeta Blue, for instance, right? Let's pull up Gogeta Blue for a second. Um, probably the most underrated unit in the game, I'd say, at this point. Um, let's just take a quick look at what this guy does. 60%. Um, then he gets an extra 50%. He's damage reduction, he restores health, key. Uh, it's close. I actually think it's close, which is really crazy. Um, I'm not going to be able to say for now who I think is better before I use him. But on paper, he looks pretty good. Um, again, nothing like game-breaking the OP. Like, he's not going to be competing with Zenkai Gohan. He's not going to be competing with Zenkai 18. But on paper, he looks pretty good. Let's take a quick look at Goku Black here. Um, yes, another Goku Black. <laughs> He's future, of course. Okay. Extreme Blue Goku Black. 
Um, let's just see, for instance, the support type, which I think I guess could be good. World of Despair's main ability shortens all characters that are both tag feature and powerful opponents subcount by file. Because you see specifically for, yeah, look at all the mentions of future and powerful opponent on here. So he obviously wants to be ran specifically alongside those tags. 30% damage inflicted for 20 counts. Increases arts card draw speed one level 15 counts. That's actually really good. <laughs> main, main ability is really good. Um, subcount reduction and damage, and he gets card draw speed. Okay. Main ability, or er, Yuki ability number one is Harbinger of a Dark Future. Applies the following effects to self per defeated member that is both feature and powerful opponent in the party, other than this character. 30% of damage inflicted, reduces damage to by 15%, and minus 30 strike and blast arts cost, so he wants to be a last man standing. Beautiful Utopia is a second unique. Applies the following effects to allied characters that are both type feature and powerful opponent when this character is switched to standby. They heal 10% health, activates twice. 25% damage inflicted, and then 30% to key recovery. Giving key recovery is interesting. I think it's something that not a lot of other units really do uh, that often, I think, is giving key recovery to other units. Damage is always good. Um, only problem with this unit is that he has to be ran on a very specific team. Like, I mean, I mean, featuring a powerful opponent, you should be running him with like Green Goku Black and Cell, right? That's pretty much what you're going to be doing here. But. He seems pretty solid. Um, regular strike, regular blast. Black coming behind the blue card. Deals major impact damage. 20% of damage inflicted for 15 counts. It's pretty good. Nothing crazy. Green card is um, restores Unki by 40. And then 10% of damage inflicted by allied characters that are both feature and powerful opponent. This is actually not bad, not a bad green card. And then... He, so he only buffs both of the tags together. So, strike attack and... Or sorry, strike and blast defense for that. Interesting. I mean, we're eventually going to get, like... Th actually, this is interesting because ZBZ Space doesn't have this set up correctly. Because <laughs> they have either or, right? They don't have both of these. So, okay. Um, hmm. He seems okay. Alright, let's take a look at the banner here. So the banner, the Force of Fourth, I don't like the name at all. <laughs> it's kind of a weird name. So, okay, the big thing people are going to be talking about here is the fact that this Goku is the only new sparking unit on this banner which I don't think they've ever done before. So the only new sparking is a Legends Limited character. I don't agree with that at all. I don't know why they're doing that, especially more so close to the anniversary. Like, just based off of that alone, I would automatically recommend people don't summon on this banner. So there's one, two, three, four, five steps. Actually, is that the same format? Let me just pull up the uh, Goku Black banner, make sure it's the same format, make sure I'm not going crazy here. Uh, no, actually, it's not the same format. This is six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 500, and then 1,000, and then the free multi. This is... This doesn't have a free multi. There's no free multi on here. Hmm. Okay. What do we got? Still 0.5% for Goku. And there's no featured. Hmm. I... <laughs> I want to say this banner sucks. <laughs> Am I allowed to say this banner sucks? I think it sucks. Um, let's take a look at the ticket banner before I com come to that conclusion, though. Let's see, maybe they changed the tickets. Uh, oh, they actually did. They changed it back. They changed it back. Wow, yeah, this, this summon you can acquire one sparking character and it's five tickets and then the rate is 5% for him. Okay. I mean, that's good. I think this, tickets, this ticket banner being better is obviously helpful and it, it, it fixes some of the problems, but this is terrible. No free multi. He's still at 0.5%. There's there's, he's the only new sparking on the banner. I mean, the banner's not terrible but it's not good enough to summon on the anniversary keep in mind is a month and a half from now <laughs> this is a skip do not summon like i don't care if the anniversary is gt related this is not worth summoning on zero percent in terms of the events that are coming out um this vegeta event's coming back cell event's coming back we're getting the champion bonus which is nice and uh, we are getting a raid versus super baby 2 which is cool when does this actually start let's see 417 so that's yeah this weekend okay pretty cool 
Raids are good. Then we have this new equip. Now I presume this is the new PvP equip. There's no way how to obtain or whatever. These times were dark enough without you. This equip is ridiculous. Special move damage and ultimate damage, and then base health for Super Saiyan 4. Now it's obviously limited to Super Saiyan 4s. Again, if Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta comes out for the anniversary, you're going to want to have this. <laughs> base health is very, very valuable. <laughs> as well as ultimate damage. I imagine Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's ultimate is going to be like the best ultimate in the game or something. So I'm going to farm this a lot. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, so yeah, we're going to have missions for the uh, raid here. Um, standard, typical missions. And then don't forget we also have the second set of the... Um, Ultra Goku missions coming out today as well. So I do think that they're probably going to uh, also require to, that you spend 3,000 rare metals to get these unlocked as well. So make sure you're saving up some rare metals to get this done. But other than that, that is pretty much all we have for this week's update in Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Let me know down below what you guys think about Super Saiyan 4 Goku. The unit himself seems really good um, and really solid. Not overly game-breaking or anything like that, but he just seems like a very good solid unit for GT that they, knew, that they really needed. Um, but the banner actually sucks. Just It's horrible. Do not summon. <laughs> End of discussion. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next one.